here are your choices. We have Shiva Lingam, Orca Agate, Amethyst, so Amethyst Point here. And Citrine. So whichever one speaks to you at this time, that will be your reading. Hey there, lovely soul, and welcome to this Pick a Crystal reading. These are messages from your soul, your higher self, your guides and guardians, your entire spirit tribe, um, ancestors, friends and family who've crossed over, spirit animals, guardian angels, archangels, ascended master, you, masters, you name it. It's one big tribe. It all, like everybody came through to me and said let's do a pick a crystal for the stargate today is a 5 5 2021 stargate but this is a timeless read these are just messages that are coming through at this time but whenever you receive them whether it's uh today or in five months doesn't matter when you're guided to uh any of these readings they pertain to you right now so that's about as much as i'm going to i think uh really refer to the five five stargate but i do want to let you know that i'm being guided to do this reading uh at this time on this day it is currently 530 530 so that's an eight so the eight with that symbol on its side is the infinity symbol so of course i relate to that a lot but this is really to um more energy talking about the the infinite and timeless nature of these readings and that anytime you're guided uh to this reading or if you're guided to more than one of the crystals hey go for it watch all four of the readings and take what what you want to take from them if that's what you feel too but if you're just guided to one great go ahead and just watch the one read we're gonna get into some oracle not really tarot but mostly it's gonna be an oracle reading for you today and we're gonna work with uh the shiva lingam for the first read the orca agate for the second the amethyst point for the third and lastly the citrine the raw citrine for the fourth read and don't worry here in a second you're gonna see these crystals close up so you can really connect with them and decide and with that said i'm gonna leave you here and see you back after you pick your crystal bye Okay, so let's get started with the Shiva Lingam. I am totally in love. I actually, here, I'll show you my little one too. I am totally in love with the Shiva Lingam. I was guided to this uh, crystal a few months ago and I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. It's, it checks every box that you could possibly want in a crystal as far as it being um so healing and grounding and connecting you to gaia uh when you're not interacting with it it gets really cold but then the more that you hold it especially meditate with it it gets really really warm and it just feels so good so anyway without further ado let's get into your reading my shiva lingam crowd here we go first we're gonna get a card from the moonology deck so that's what that looks like on the back side oh here we go oh we got two i'm gonna take the top one only and it says, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. And we actually have a full moon in Sagittarius in May. Of course, this is a an anytime timeless reading, but it is coming out. So had to say that. So look at the bigger picture. 
I like I always like this card because it says there's just a lot more going on than we may you know th know about or think about or or have an idea about and we just need to satellite up in our world and take a look at the bigger picture the next card we have is autumn is the beauty card um and it's um autolite I always say that wrong i feel card number three beauty and the energy of autumn so take a look at that we were just like really getting into spring right now finally feels it feels like that although i live up in the mountains so things can kind of fluctuate up here but there we go with beauty i love this so the energy of beauty coming out for an autumn so so there's some energy with autumn coming here let's see what else we get one more here intention with the staff and pyrite card number 18 so intention so beauty intention feeling more here and this is the crystal healing oracle oracle deck and i really really like it next celebration sacred ceremony red jasper is the crystal there celeb Ooh, there's something on there there we go celebration so intention beauty celebration oh my goodness this is awesome energy here we've got card three card four and card 18 i'm being told to get yet another one from the crystal um, Oracle here. And cleansing with with feather and black tourmaline card number six. <laughs> so we got three, four, six, six and 18. Very interesting with cleansing okay and first we had look at the bigger picture so i feel like if if we're talking about intention whatever you're looking to whatever really stokes your fire i'm hearing think about being intentional about that if it's writing if it's painting if it's um gardening if it's growing stuff or whatever I think we're finally done here with those cards um your intention with this uh is going to be very cleansing cleansing for you and healing um getting you connected back with your your inner child uh, it's going to really bring beauty into your world and i think that the work that you start to get motivated and passionate to do now and in the re and in the near future is going to <clears throat> really start to like uh have more weight in the world something like that in autumn so it may take a few more months before you're like really seeing stuff um kind of come out there but and maybe that's like the bigger picture it's like it's coming so work on your intention work on uh, cleansing your environment and you and healing um, energy with that sage the feather um, the black tourmaline is very protective then we have celebration like there is just going to be a lot of happiness on your part with whatever you start to work on now at this time again whenever you happen to watch this these uh, messages uh okay so i'm gonna get so the only tarot that we're gonna have here is the uh, i pulled out the major arcana from the uh angel tarot by doreen virtue and radley valentine and i've been actually working with them this way for a few weeks now and so it's just the major arcana where the archangels reside in this tarot deck and we have the moon we have card number 18 again right yes card number 18 18s are also a nine nine energy being light worker energy so definitely a lot of incoming 
light codes for the light worker with these messages and the moon the moon energy so uh of course we we got the full moon in sagittarius and the moon so whenever your next moon is for you and whenever you happen to watch this uh when i am doing this of course this is may 2021 we have our our uh, lunar eclipse full moon in Sagittarius on the 26th of May. But whenever your next full moon is, um, so whether it's in two days, whether it's today, whether it's, you know, in a whole cycle from now, the next full moon uh, is going to really be a, a factor here. So the divine feminine energies are going to play a big part in this uh this overall energy so be intentional i'm hearing be intentional about i'm putting intention with the moon card so it's like be intentional about connecting with the moon um and pyrite is with that one um okay now next we're gonna get into the sacred geometry oracle so um, it's, this is also Healing Oracle. So really cool messages come through this oracle uh, about sacred geometry, animal spirit healing, frequencies, geometric shapes. It's really, really awesome. I love this deck. It's really cool. And it's really pretty with that phoenix and that, that blue, um, whatever that is, foil on the, on the, the edges. So let's get us a coat. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's two. I'm hearing the top one. The top one. So awakening card number zero. Isn't that a, such a cool card? Let me get it closer for you. So it says Akashic Record Conscious Evolution. So let's take a look here. Card number zero. Awakening. Okay. The greater teacher is my soul. I am awakening to and experience my soul communicating with me now in all that I do. You are experiencing conscious evolution. Congratulations. You are vibrating at higher frequencies than ever before. You are awakening and attuning your soul's calling as you walk your path in this physical lifetime. Time seems to move faster on these resonant sh when these resonant shifts occur. Yeah, they, they do tend to. <laughs> uh, your conscious awareness of all life experiences increases and you receive new information from higher vibrational realms that requires processing and assimilation. Pay strong attention to your dreams and to your waking moments as the universe is giving you messages. Oh, my head. Oh, wow. Oh, I haven't felt this in a while. Very interesting that I'm feeling this as I'm reading. Woo! Yeah, major downloads are coming. I felt that this is like the intensity that it would be for like many people at once. So this is very intense energy coming in for you to help you um, connect and receive information on the conscious and subconscious levels okay let me get back to reading holy moly wow uh pay strong attention to your dreams and to your waking moments as the universe is giving you messages this may manifest as deja vu repetitive or uh palindromic numbers a feeling or a thought a smell or even a touch and say uh, sacred geometry the truncated octahedron is one of the Archim archimedean solids this this solid it has 14 faces each face sorry eight faces are regular hexagons and six are square let me show you again the 
the hexagon relates to the heart and the square to the earth it is a representation of the earth heart and hence our connection to the all everything is connected through a multitude of vibrational frequencies as proposed by string theory and the quantum entanglement phenomenon as well as the theory of the hundredth monkey effect practical application we have a quote here if the brain is the radio's receiver then the heart is the dial tuning the radio to the frequency of your choice oh i love that so much that's by nasim haramein wow that's awesome if the brain is the radio's receiver then the heart is the dial tuning in the radio what frequency is your choice that's a very important word of this sentence here the last word being choice you it is your choice of what frequency you're resonating at at any given moment okay and to activate our light codes within our dna it is important first and foremost to come from a place of love Cultivating this for most of us is life is a lifelong process along our journey. Open your heart and still your mind. Meditation, sound, integrated healing, comp complementary therapies, crystals, herbs, healthful eating, and exercise all play a role in the inevitable, inevitable vibrational shifts we are experiencing. Journal your dreams as our subconscious mind, sorry, journal your dreams as our subconscious mind is a treasure trove of important information. As our frequency increases, our light codes are activated. As we become more consciously aware, our gifts and ancient knowledge stir and become increasingly apparent. The awakening process, once aroused, is a lifelong journey. It is what helps guide us through this lifetime as a soul experiencing a physical reality. Awakening is a sacred card. When this card is drawn, pull another card to place onto it. Whatever the card is that you draw is what is suggested that you focus on now. For example, if you draw the frequency card 963 hertz with awakening, know your awakening process is being accelerated. Honor it and work with it. Don't try to control the course you are on. Work with this frequency by playing the respective tones, meditating or writing. Uh, or maybe you can search for a teacher to help you on your path. This may be a one-on-one -on -one or within a work group or workshop. Card numerology four and crystal suggestions, Larimar, Herkimer Diamond, Afrolite Pyramids, and Clear Quartz. Animal medicine, whale. Essence, whale, starlight, owl, wolf, and snake medicine essence. Okay, so she very specifically talked about two cards and two cards did come up so i am going to show us what we got here i really didn't pay attention to it card number 45 and this is reflection reflect upon life experience which makes perfect sense to have these two together as you awaken you tend as you spiritually awaken awaken to universal understanding you do tend to reflect on your life experiences so you can heal heal that energy clear that energy um so there we go with that let's go let's take a look at card number 45 okay i honor all my life experiences as they have created the person i am today have you been having uh recurring thoughts or dreams is there a message being relayed to you and if so are you listening life is a journey and not a destination through all our experiences we learn whether it's through mistakes relationships or personal or business trials and tribulations reflection is also here as a gentle reminder of loved ones who have crossed over they're still with us and are there to help guide us if we call upon them listen to them or see their signs and sacred geometry a labyrinth ultimately in a path or passage that you follow by quieting the mind, it allows 
one to reflect on personal or spiritual transformation and growth. It can help center you and delve deep into yourself. By the time you exit the labyrinth, a newfound sense of clarity may be found. This beautiful labyrinth is based on, on the one found at Chartres Cathedral in France. I probably said that totally wrong. And is an an 11 circuit which is based on the number of the mystique bringing forth more spiritual guidance let me show you again okay and practical application as the labyrinth spot spirals within we need to check in and see that we are honoring our path many of us tend to form patterns in our lives to protect ourselves from being hurt we allow fear to control us but our but we are in control of the memories we make and choose to create for ourselves. again choosing choices we are the ones in control of our choices when you reflect on the on past hurts, ask how you can turn those into love and forgiveness. Our memories are a part of our circular, our circular, oh sorry, cellular memory. And even when painful on reflection, think about how you can turn it into something great. What is it you can pass on to your children and teach those who are drawn to your soul essence? And card numerology, eight. And crystal suggestions, rose quartz, Larimar, Moldavite, and Herkimer diamond. So Herkimer diamond showing up twice, showing up in both of these cards. And Herkimer diamond's absolutely beautiful and awesome. And I highly suggest um, getting some. It is kind of expensive but it's beautiful. It's absolutely a beautiful, clear uh, crystal. Very, very pretty. Okay, so there we go with awakening and reflection. Really good advice here. And also, where am I putting you? And also, uh, when I was reading that about reflection is uh, how important it is to clear energy to, you know, this talked about love and forgiveness and, um, clearing that's that means clearing energy um from the past untangling knots kind of thing and 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 going back to to people experiences situations that maybe weren't so fun so great but to but to go there and to cut cords or reset cords with those people and experiences and i have an ebook that's uh that's called the importance of cord cutting and it comes with a companion meditation to do that self-healing practice of bringing the energy back um cord cutting is not the i don't really like that term but it is what it is that's how everybody refers to it but what it really means is to unlock the cords that you have connected with a person place situation trauma event things like this and bring that energy back into the body you actually really feel the shift in yourself um, when you do that so anyway that has come up check that out on my website thehealingbutterfly.org if you're so guided okie dokie and we're gonna get one more card here for you and what is it gonna be we're gonna go to the dragon fey oracle for your last card here my shiva lingam group this has been really really nice i really like this this is a really lovely reading here let's see oh there it is the lady grian open your heart more about heart opening the heart opening um or awakening spiritually awakening uh is definitely heart opening so there's your card the lady grand open your heart so cute okay card number two i thought i moved my books over here yes i didn't okay Ha <laughs> 
Alrighty, and Grian speaks, I am of the earth and of the soul star's light. I am the opening of the flower, the love that lives in the flower of your heart. I love you and wish for you to draw this love energy into your being. I am a power source that you cannot neglect because even if you feel you are a being of winter and that your heart has grown cold and hard in order to ease the pain, I tell you that you are now ready to reveal your own life source and warmth to another being. The love you have to share will be appreciated and returned. More so, this warm and loving heart energy will be its own reward as you awaken again to your feeling nature please open your heart in this moment allow yourself to love see the beauty and warmth and smile as often as you can bring forth your joy and see the opening of others hearts where yellow red and gold all the colors of my friend the sun and you will feel a great flow of energy awakening throughout your body and energetic being please see that the seeds you planted need Sorry. Please see that the seeds you planted need warm earth in which to grow. Yes, they can survive where it is cold, but they cannot thrive. So be warm, extend your energy, and know that your truly radiant self will create great opportunity and abundance around you. Simply extend some heart energy, and I will support you and love you until you are the radiance of this sun incarnated in your own form. Love, be loved, love. Oh my God, that's so good. Okay, and divinatory meanings. A time when dreams and wishes are quickly and easily realized. Fertility is accentuated and your attractiveness and personal beauty are appreciated and commented on. Throw wide your open heart and experience the joy of feeling beautiful emotions warm friendships longing relation lasting loving relationships displays of love extravagant love new projects and ideas self-love grows and attracts others to you when grian is with you and working with the lady grian grow something herbology earth magic solar connections solar energy warm-blooded creatures smiles and reaching out physically to people solstices particularly the summer solstice oh that's coming up <laughs> the time of beltane and any sunny warm day warm wind and growth spurts in your life when energy flows with ease and momentous change happens easily wear reds golds and yellows to create sunshine energy in your life even on the grayest of days oh here here i love this so much it is so freaking perfect with the rest of this reading i gotta say oh i love it it is so good i feel so warm just reading that um, and it is, and I'm being shown the celebration card. This time is a celebration for you. This energy coming in is to awaken you, open you up to love, to get that heart chakra just really blooming and blossoming. And just so you know, our heart chakra is ever expanding. It's not meant to just open to a certain point. It's meant to keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and so this is why we have to work with our energetic wings and all of that so we can um that go through our heart chakra because there, there's so much energy can come from there so this is awesome energy so really bringing in um she talked so much about the sun and the stargate is about the sun so um whatever stargate you also we talked about whatever moon um so next full moon whatever next stargate or if you're in a stargate right now think about how the um and a star is the sun and we get the light codes from the sun to activate our dna like this was talking about in the awakening through intention working with the moon working with the sun bringing in that beautiful loving energy truly is like i'm hearing here like truly it is a celebration and um the more that you get into this energy uh the 
the I just see this like incline, really steep incline up on your your uh, ascension and awakening for you at this time because uh, you're really ready. I'm hearing ready for the next stage, next level to level up with your connections to yourself, your soul. Most importantly, is so important to connect with that with that channel of energy and divine wisdom and and um, the infinite knowledge that comes from our soul about ourselves and to really help us in this reality in this lifetimes to make it so much easier as we go through the labyrinth of our lives uh when we are when it's time when the when the bell the timer dings and it's time for us to uh get into our into our real true selves remember really truly who and what we are and really what we're what we're here to do once we do awaken okay well thank you so much for choosing this uh read here today i hope it resonates with you please don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave a comment down below on your experience here see you later Hey there, Orca Agate people. Here is your crystal. Your Orca Agate. Isn't it awesome? Uh, one of my very favorites. So let's get into your reading. Uh, whoop, that was quick. Communication is key. So is our first card from the Moonology Oracle deck. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Okay, let's get going here with this. And just guided to tell you with the orchid with the Orca agate, obviously it's called Orca agate because it has those white spots around it. And um, it really does have this very, uh, it is heavy and a very, I, I would say it has a, a feel, an ocean feel to it. I don't know how to, how else to put that. The energy is very expansive, very open, which is really cool with, um, with communication is key with this card here. New moon in Gemini. So that's our first card. Let's see what we get with the crystal oracle. Oh, I forgot to turn on my music. Let me do that real quick. There we go. Okay. And we're going to get into getting a few to whatever we're guided to get here in the last read i got more than i thought i would but i'm just going as guided here and we're gonna get um some cards here from the crystal oracle and then we're going to get a card um from the major whoa flying out <laughs> Uh, freedom with blue barite and the eagle card number 12 freedom i hear communication creates inner and outer freedom very true wow okay let's see what else we get here i love that card also if you've been feeling more well i think a lot of people have been feeling or maybe it's getting a little different now but feeling more homebound stuck not exploring like that energy is going to change let's see what we got here going within inner world with both number 13 so we got yeah 12 and 13 going within and freedom so going within um figuring out what it is that your soul needs to communicate what what are you here to do and to bring into the world and you have the freedom to do that but you need to communicate your um your inner passions need to be out into the world and healer shaman 
uh, with New Might with card number 14. Whoa. 12, 13, and 14 here with Healer. After Freedom and Going Within. Whoa. So we definitely have a deal here. Progression, progress, um, moving into a place where you, and communication, communication coming in, new information, you digesting and wanting to receive new information. Um, shaman, healer, I, of course I definitely uh, relate with this being a shaman and a healer myself that uh, you are being guided to uh, to healing um, freedom is in releasing energy going within with a healer like a shaman like myself gotta say I'm gonna advertise me before anybody else because what I do with our with our guides and guardians and my connections are so freaking amazing that I gotta shoot that horn um, so if you're guided to check out my website and and see what I could do for you I'm being guided to, to you know bring that in here into the conversation one more card I'm hearing cleansing with feather card number six black tourmaline so if anything I'm hearing start with cleansing your environment use sage palo santo use uh, crystals like black tourmaline a suge knight obsidian the black ones are always great with protection and clearing of negative energy of course feather so working with that sage in the air with that smoke and using a feather to move it through the through the energy through the space that, that you're in and to do this asap is what i'm hearing okay next let's get into oh we're gonna get into the i'm like don't forget the the major arcana of the angel tarot with our archangels is what we're looking at here okay let's get a card here Card number 15, Ego with Joe Fiel, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. In traditional tarot, the Ego card is the devil. So I'm hearing definitely the need to release fears and negative energy. I'm, I'm definitely talking to empaths and lightworkers here who are... Uh, on the journey of discovering just how much the energy negative energy of others impacts you so another thing to to send you to would be my ebook e on the it's called the essential empath guide and my new video series for empaths there's two videos part of that right now you can find that on my youtube channel um, to help you understand this. I feel like that second video about narcissists and empaths would really be beneficial to help you understand more of how this energy works is I feel like the per people that I'm talking to here would has have definitely dealt with their sh with narcissists and their share of of energy vampires. So let's get into the next card here with your uh, sacred geometry sacred geometry card uh, really looking for one but in my first read there it is in my first read uh, the card that I, two cards came out I picked the top one but then in the description it was like no you definitely need to pick two cards with with this information so that was cool um so here we have card number 38 with gratitude acknowledgement of our blessings i love this acknowledgement of our blessings with gratitude card number 38 and please look up that number 38 i'm hearing this is a really big number for in my world a, a number that definitely <laughs> circulates in my in my world a lot the three representing ascended masters and love connected with you and then the eight of course infinity and those two put together connecting help you connect with your soul but let's get into this gratitude with card number 38 
see what it says here. Acknowledgement of our blessings. I manifest positive change and growth through gratitude. Our lives have become so busy that we can take for granted aspects of ourselves, our relationships, and our material gains because we get so caught up in the need to strive for more, thinking we don't have enough of the riches that support our lives. We neglect neglect to truly see the abundance of the gains we already have to be truly grateful is to appreciate all of life's offerings regardless of of whether it is what you need in life right now the ability to see beyond the hardship shows strength and understanding life cannot be just one big high no it can't <laughs> sacred geometry the 12 pointed star is a representation of this stellated doctahedron as it contains 12 faces it can be perceived as a number of completion and wholeness it is also a representation of the genesis pattern which in two dimension is 12 spheres surrounded by a central sphere to create 13 within the center of this star is the genesis pattern or seed of life and as i'm reading that i mean pointed to our first cards that we got here with um freedom and going within that 12 and 13. <laughs> so this is definitely um oh boy this is definitely a, a deep message very deep message with these numbers reoccurring here very and it not slipping by me and being pointed to me um is a big deal okay we are blessed at conception to be to be a fractal of the bigger picture we already inherit all that we need to go about our daily lives to bring fulfillment happiness and the like into our lives. For this, we need to acknowledge our blessings of being able to partake on, on earth at this time. And practical application, give thanks each day before you go to sleep and upon awakening. Give thanks to the people you meet and the, and the relationships you develop. Be thankful for the food on the table and the love to those nearest and dearest. We are richer than we think card numerology is six and crystal suggestions rose quartz jade tangerine quartz and citrine okay so gratitude uh gratitude opens up the heart chakra and when you're opened up in the heart chakra that's your unconditional love that is healing we heal from the heart chakra our heart chakra goes through our not only the our back and our wings but our shoulders our hands our arms and our hands and this is also why healer is showing you those those uh electric energetic starry hands uh with that new mite crystal I'm going to get a new mic crystal <laughs> uh, very soon, and the only I've only heard of it through this through this oracle deck, and I'm I'm just really drawn to it. But anyhow, um, this is definitely uh, the the gratitude that opening up of the heart and healing of the heart. Um, is an e the e an easy way to start with that is through gratitude is to think about what you're grateful for um what what you're grateful for in that day in the evening and what you're grateful for to be a part of in that morning as you arise as you wake up as you arise for your day um is definitely good energy so let me give you one more look at that with gratitude Again, that 1213 coming out big time here. Okay, and last card we're going to get here for us at this time. I'm feeling the fairy, the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle here. So we have three choices, the hidden, uh, hidden worlds, the dragon fae, or the fairy oracle, all by the same person, Lucy Cavendish. I love her or oracle decks, and these are the three that I was guided to pick from for the reads today. So let's see what we get. We have this theme of healing, of love, of gratitude, freedom, going within, cleansing, all this good stuff. Okay. 
Three graces, cooperative ventures with friends, joy, sharing, new partnerships that are fun. We have a, we have a big, it looks, uh, looks like, yeah, that's, is that supposed to be a full moon? I think it's supposed to be a full moon. Card number one, take a look. Three graces, let's get into things. Oh, so close. Almost, almost there. It was one page off. All righty. Every fairy has a duty, a destiny, and a realm where they are of service. Our duty is to assist you by example, by showing just how harmonious and joyful enterprise and sharing with others can be. You will soon be inspired in a cooperative venture. Your destiny is to find those beings with whom you can create joy and meaningful work aligned with your soul purpose. Your realm is currently to manifest this desire to take it from a dream to the material and the earthly. We will help you make this dream a reality for you are of the springtime of the soul and we speak of a time of new growth and delight, harmonious enterprise and of finding just the right people to celebrate and work and create with. We are enjoying our association with each other after long feeling lonely and isolated. When we discovered each other, our sense of fun and delight returned, and we knew that working on larger proje projects could be about joy, delight, and harmony. There is no struggle or doubt in your new enterprise. You and your friends and partners will communicate smoothly and creatively. You will be comp compatible in your thoughts and feelings and expressions and skills and all involved will understand the need for balance and fairness and fun. Oh my God, it does sound magical. <laughs> so while we dance the world's magics back into existence, you too will create magic in your, in your new enterprise when you find the right people to partner with. As we represent the maiden aspect of the fae goddess, this is a new enterprise. Please know that, that, that the fresh and new, the hopeful and innocent is, a vital and Im is as vital and important as the established and serious. Very true. Please know that the fresh, the new, the hopeful, and the innocent is as vital and as important as the established and serious. How to read that again. We need this new energy you and your companions will create. Let us help you. We will guide you to new friendships and helpful new associate, associates with whom you will get along well. It is important in our working lives to experience joy and harmony and to have others to celebrate with this gift indeed we wish you to know that you will soon experience groups coming together to focus on a common emotional goal people will reach out emotionally to one another it speaks of a sense of community and divinatory meanings finding like-minded souls to work with a happy workplace a new community is being birthed meeting new friends who feel like family overcoming trust issues with other people sharing understanding and cooperation cooperation brings new opportunities joint business ventures growth of new friendships and relationships bringing about play delight and work that is in tune with your purpose and talents celebration of new beings dance and gentle movement synchronized fate of yourself with two or three other like-minded beings with similar outlooks training ideas and beliefs new business ventures with friends amiable interactions with strangers feeling happy and connected to female friendships feeling strong bonds with people although you have just met them creating a working magical circle built on trust delight security and friendship rejoicing in femininity and feminine energies oh wow that's so good okay i like to read the reverse just to give us perspective so here's this 
you have had so the reverse meanings you have had some hard experiences in terms of trusting others at work feeling negative energies and experiencing toxic workplaces where the spirit was one of competition and conquering this has resulted in doubt and trust issues around finding people to spend time with the three graces are assisting you in your quest to find like-minded magical souls to play and work with and for you to know that you have the ability now to easily effortlessly find these people who will be like sisters to you it is a time to explore friendships activate business plans with friends and to overcome your mistrust of sharing with others when the right souls are involved all is safe and abundance is the natural result oh that is so great wow that is really beautiful and again the three graces I hope they inspire you to be open with your heart. Again, with this uh, healing energy, you will be in a higher frequency to bring in the right people to you. And if you haven't found them yet, it's because you're also in transition, in waiting to level up so you can align yourself with people that are even closer to your real soul um, code um, frequency. So, the, and once you do connect with these people, everybody's vibration will rise because it's going to be so harmonious and energy. It's just like spin. I'm feeling it spinning with energy. It's so, so. Uh, potent so charged and alive with this energy remember the first card we got was communication is key let me show you that again communication is key and what this means is that when you start coming into uh, contact and union with these new people in your life remember to share of yourself to open up to allow an exchange of of emotions and ideas to be uh when i say vulnerable that means to to step out of your comfort zone don't just stay in the the foyer of your of your um of your like or the superficial the superficial type aspects that relationships can kind of get locked into especially when people are apprehensive about um getting hurt or if they can trust um and so you know these people are not going to come knocking at your door tomorrow maybe even you have kind of a touch the surface of who these people are and maybe they, they haven't come around at all yet but the key is to healing and cleansing going within finding that freedom to release the old be grateful for where you are right now and for this future that's going to bring in soul family and partnerships and it sounds like it's going to be creative it's going to be something for the collective um it could be a business thing but i feel like it's very creative in nature um very um healing in nature as well so it could be art it so anything could be i feel like it's artistic and spiritual in nature um to some degree here but whatever it is you're definitely going to be guided it's going to be like everybody holds a piece of the puzzle and when they come together it's going to be like boom 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 and <laughs> kind of stuff <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you um, checking out this reading. Don't forget this is timeless. So anytime you got this, this message, just implement that. Really think of this next new moon, the next stargate, wherever you are. And as far as that goes, is really helping you with these energies coming in. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below on your experience and how this resonates with you and until next time infinite love and blessings bye for now hey there amethyst point people here is your crystal one other look at that i say that with this crystal i can see the universe inside of it it is so beautiful um unfortunately when i was taking pictures of it after um, when i got it 
I had it propped up on something and um, I bumped my table and it fell in it and it nicked the, the point. It's still pretty pointy, but that was kind of a bummer. <laughs> I do absolutely love this crystal so much. So amethyst, uh, definitely my, my personal favorite. I have a lot of it. I can never get enough from really big to really tiny. Um, this is a little teeny tiny point I got just the other day. Oh my gosh, love it. Anyhow, Amethyst, let's get going here. Starting with the Moonology uh, Oracle for your reading here. And again, this is a timeless reading for you um, whenever you're guided to this. But just letting you know, again, we are doing this on the 5th of May, the beginning of the 5-5 portal. So with that said, wherever you are in the in your the Stargate that you're closest to or in, this would be uh, bringing forth those energies too. So not just the Stargate that we're beginning right now on 5.5 5 through 5.15. And if you're unfamiliar with Stargates, please check out my video on Stargates. Uh, but this is for any time that or any near or next, any next or in the Stargate that you're in, uh, this would, this would be, you know, what that's for, um, or what the reading is really bringing in and those energies. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Be bold and make the first move. This is a cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. So we're definitely looking at uh stepping out of a comfort zone here taking action be bold make the first move uh follow your guidance so there could be something about reaching out to a person or starting a project or uh uh gosh i even heard i was even thinking like you know, maybe you have a podcast and wanting to have somebody on your podcast, like make the first move, ask, like really take initiative. This is about taking initiative. Um, okay, so next cards that we're going to get into is the Crystal Oracle. So we'll get a few cards here. And... After this, we'll get a card from the Angel Tarot, but just we'll just pick one from the Major Arcana. Oh, there we go. Truth and Integrity with Summer. Card number 32 and the crystal would be Turquoise. So, Summer Energy and Truth and Integrity. So the truth needing to come out, maybe it's about that. Maybe it's about coming clean. Maybe it's about talking to somebody about, you know, your current position, how you feel, where you're at, that sort of thing. Let's dive a little bit deeper here. Mountain with a uh, retreat and green calcite card number two four so we have three two and two four with retreat and mountain energy with the green cal oh i love green calcite with green calcite feeling the need to get away the need feeling a lot of pressure unconditional love with mother mary card number 33 and diamond. I'm hearing unconditional love is all about truth. Feeling truth, speaking truth, feeling safe, letting others feel safe in their truth. Um, and, uh, and integrity is about, it, like the truth and integrity retreat unconditional love one more here a teacher with wolf and card number 30 so we just got 33 and we're getting 30 with um 
Shattuckite. I've never heard of that before. And it's S H A T T U C K I T E. And teacher. Teacher. Look at that. Okay. Teaching by example, unconditional love, living your truth, being bold, making the first move. Just really, I'm feeling just being so authentic, having the energy coming in to help you with your truth, to help you. Um, two cars here dance with rattle and boulder opal, card number nine. And Freedom with Eagle and Blue Barite, card number 12. So, uh, hearing the beat, getting into the beat of Gaia, like feeling feeling the, the heartbeat of Gaia, dancing to the... the rhythm of nature is what I'm hearing here feeling the the love of of nature and using a rattle to get into a beat um, while you're dancing hopefully bare feet uh, on the earth to really bring in that energy and lastly here freedom 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 you are it's like this be bold and make the first move it's like that means that that's like a holding back energy that needs to go and it's like you know pushing you off the off the springboard or the high dive or something and literally soaring and flying like it's like you've got this you've got this and teacher my feeling here with this wolf energy with teacher this feels like i'm just really picking up on this wolf as a guide here and they are so instinctual um but they're also very cautious and protective extremely intelligent animals and they teach us a lot wolves are amazing um So it may be, I'm feeling like if you can take some time by yourself, um, change things up. Even if you can't get away, get away, change things up. Like if you're stuck in work mode or project mode, it's time to really separate from that. If you can get into the mountains, that would be fantastic. Or explore the mountains if you're in the mountains. Like get out in it it's calling to you um you will feel that unconditional love driving you your heart chakra expanding uh what else here <sighs> i love this freedom card it's time it's time to be free i'm hearing oh i love that okay let's see what we get here with our archangels from the angel tarot this is just the uh the major arcana here so let's check it out unity card number five with sandal fawn traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organization seek out mentors and like-minded friends so again mentor teacher coming out kind of twice here like seeking out men mentors but um overall unity so be bold make the first move for um some kind of unification like the energy really needs to come from you that you are looking to connect and and you're you need to make the first move here to get to this next uh, this next phase that you're that we're going in here okay anything else from this um if you can combine retreat with um with some type of you know workshop or training or you know even if it's uh you know kind of something artistic or, or basic about even we're going to get into sacred geometry right now with the oracle but um 
definitely needing to like we the need to expand and to you're a truth seeker too it's like not only speaking your truth but searching for truth is a really big deal here okay let's see what we get with the oracle for you amethyst point people ooh, ooh, ooh. too many too many okay oh 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 there it is the tetrahedron take action wow you got be bold and make the first move and then the tetrahedron with take action card number 18 so let me grab the book and let's get into that get a little bit more energy here, or information here for this energy that we have here about about taking action and taking the making the first move that whole thing because those are definitely in theme um sometimes you get an oracle it's like so far off you're like okay help me find the connection here it's not very often usually there are really thematic but every once in a while but this is like be bold and make the first move and take action like those two cannot be more like together there okay I take back my power and trust in my ability to succeed. The tetrahedron has appeared to you today as you are experiencing an imbalance within your solar plexus. Your ego and self-esteem are out of sorts, which may be causing you to suffer from indigestion or stress. If you are allowing yourself to take on the emotions and actions of, or actions of others, you are letting your ego interfere if trust is an issue for you it is time to recognize your worth or your ability to succeed or both and sacred geometry this let me try that again the tetrahedron has four faces and is one form of a pyramid it works with the element of fire and can be used at the solar plexus it is a dual a dual unto itself when two tetrahedrons are placed together, they form the Merkaba. The tetrahedron is considered the most stable of the platonic solids. The molecular structure of water is tetrahedral in nature and basic build, the basic building block of atomic structure is tetrahedral. This card represents the navel or sacral chakra. It In this area, we are dealing with the endocrine gland, pancreas, and adrenal glands. This center deals with the lower self or the ego, issues of personal power, self-esteem, self-worth, acceptance of self, freedom of choice, and confidence arise in this center. This center is often considered the center of our will, where we mostly experience our ego and self-esteem. It is important to keep this chakra balanced so you can continue moving forward to fulfill your dreams and goals uh, and then take action on them. Our wants and desires can then fuel our will to bring it to fruition. When our solar plexus is off balance, it can cause digestive upsets and practical application. In society today, many people work under great amounts of stress, whether it be in the home or work environment. When we are put under duress, it is much easier to find that we question our sense of worth and find that we can read people's uh, comment, sorry, and find that we can read people's comments directed at us the wrong way, which in turn we may interpret negatively. This puts our self-esteem and what we perceive as our acceptance of others. Wait, sorry. This puts our self-esteem and what we perceive as our acceptance of others at risk. It is time to take back your power and you can do this by first taking a step back. To help create change, make a conscious decision to take time out for you. 
take a walk in the park or on the beach go for a drive in the country or somewhere in nature spend time with like-minded people who make you feel good to be around seek out a healer for some balancing and re-energizing of your mind body and soul and card numerology is 11 crystal suggestions is tetrahedron platonic solid citrine um orpiment and pyrite and special affirmation my ego is in perfect balance it is my drive my motivation my will to succeed i am motivated i am empowered i am driven i do not fear success i am successful oh awesome so uh so the second time we uh, heard about working with somebody, seek a healer or when I see healer, teacher, very similar energy, unconditional love. It, it also said need to get away, get into nature. You got retreat. So you're getting double messages here about this. Um, of course, unconditional love is more centered with the heart chakra, but this is talking specifically about the solar plexus and the ego and being in balance and not taking on the energies of others or the emotions of others, which as an empath or a light worker can be difficult, but it's really necessary to get clear and help yourself stay clear of energy. Um, and be truthful with people. Like if you have a lot going on and there's a lot of people that are pulling on your energy and requiring a lot of your time and, and energy, maybe it's time to be like, look, I just need a break. I need a weekend. I need I need a day where I'm not engaged. I just need to, to go to go out by myself, to stay in by myself. Going out would be ideal. Getting into um, high elevation uh energy or going to the beach or even if it's just your local park um i'm hearing walk around a lake if you have a lake just take some time for yourself to uh get into nature to connect and feel free let gaia let mother gaia mother nature be your teacher and help you to release energy um, be bold, make the first move, kind of coming, kind of having a different meaning here for me as far as uh, what it is you need to do. Like nobody is going to take care of you the way you need to take care of yourself. You need to take, make that first move and say, I am... Um, this is where I'm at. This is how I feel. This is what I need. I, you know, to yourself even too. Like I need a healer. I need a guide. I need somebody to help me clear this energy and help me, you know, do what I need to do here. And, you know, not all healers and teachers and guides are created equal. Um, ask your guides and guardians to send you to the right person that's really going to help you, really understands things on an energetic, spiritual, um, and emotional level that can really help you dig deep. In the meantime, check out my website for astral channel guided astral meditations that can help you begin this self-healing um and ebooks as well um actually my um on my podcast is where you want to go for the meditations as well as my youtube channel that will help you and the oracle card that you got from the hidden worlds is card number 15 the dolphin collar pure joyful friendships loving help The dolphin collar. Oh, I love this card so much. I thought of the dolphin collar when I got my when I got my recent um dang it. Just messed up my Oh my goodness. I love it when I do that. Why are you trying to press something and your other finger presses the wrong thing? There we go. Sorry about that. Um if I could get past there we go. Wow. Um, I thought about the dolphin collar when I got my new amber and dolphin. Uh, I'm going to show you this somehow. My amber and dolphin 
flipped upside down for you. But there's little amber pieces in my dolphins. There's five of them. And as soon as I saw this, I thought of this card. So, and I haven't seen it. I just got this bracelet. Um, uh, not even like maybe a week ago, if that. So anyway, the dolphin collar, pure joyful friendships, loving help, card number 15. You'll see how great this card is. Okay, here we go. Ah, there are those who can call forth the powers of nature, the messengers of the mother and of the great spirit. But when we gaze upon nature's marvels, we rarely see the ancient ones standing in their midst, stirring again and again the cauldron of the planet and allowing us to see all of the beauty and wonder that is here. The dolphin collar steps forth at dawn and to this being in an the ancient relatives of the humans, the people of the sea who will move through and around the waters to cleanse and clear the sacred oceans. They come, they reawaken within the waters, their purity and their song and the dolphin collar will transfer their song and gift and clearing energy to the land, to the people as they go about their day. So many now are beginning to arise from their slumber and not just the slumber of sleep. They are awakening from the slumber of the soul. So too are you. As the dolphin collar and these magical beings of the oceans now call you to awaken to your own possibilities, to a new beginning, not only with each day, but with a new beginning for your very soul, a time of play, of release, of cleansing, and of zest and joyful friendship is available for you. We become like those we are surrounded by and these beings will lift the spirits and remind you of what friendships can be like. No matter what is taking place in your life, the dolphin's energy is now shared with you. So you can feel the freedom and fluidity and soaring grace and the power of these oceanic marvels. You are their friend and the dolphin collar will send you this energy until you feel your own exhilaration rise and you laugh again with the sheer joy of being alive. Your soul will revel in your happiness and you will thank the dolphins and this collar who has known of your need and has now sent to send the help you have long been asking for friendships too are a part of this card's energy to have moments when you can share the joy bringing to you the exquisite sense of being loved and accepted and delighted in and illumination help is on the way and you will soon experience joyful companionship oh my god this card gets me emotional because i feel this energy so intensely like i said when i saw the dolphins i thought of this energy here and um dolphins i have dolphins and the ocean are definitely a big time thing for me personally so whenever i see this card i always get such a ah, such a big expansive feeling in my heart chakra because there is so much love there so much connection with mother gaia and those beings of the ocean and especially dolphins and how beautiful they are they are full of joy they are about friendships and family they are about connection and unity and oneness and all of that great stuff and 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 you think about like have you ever seen a shy dolphin have you ever heard of a doll like they're so like bold and they want to explore they want to experience they want to make friends they want to um adventure and that's the kind of energy that's coming through with this it's so awesome so the dolphin collar coming through to say that you will and are being guided um in a very new way if you have felt more alone on this journey you will be guided to those who you will feel a, a real pull to um to either be friends or to be your teacher your guide your mentor your healer um to have a romantic or a friendship with um 
whatever whatever this this energy is it is about it's all centered in and around these first um three card these first three cards that we got here um the truth and integrity uh first off be bold and make the first move and then this unity card these three cards um it's like the theme here truth and integrity like the like don't worry about um others that are coming in with this energy and you'll know just like check in like is this one of those magical people that's supposed to come to you know for me are they filled with truth and integrity and, and the way i am and just feel into that energy and allow yourself to just like lean back into it really really in faith and comfort okay and again and lastly freedom freedom is yours you will soar you will feel light and free and new and trans and transitioned into the new state of being for yourself okay well there my amethyst point people it was beautiful it was a beautiful reading i hope you got a lot out of it hope you resonate with this reading um please like share and subscribe leave comments down below let me know what you feel and what you think of this and until next time infinite love and blessings bye for now hey there lovely soul this is your pick that raw citrine i know is and a beautiful uh has so much um oh gosh that just warm solar type energy this is really great for connecting to and, and healing that solar plexus but no matter what this will give you a boost of energy this will clear your field connect you with your guides uh let's get into your re reading we're starting with the moonology <laughs> this thing the moonology oracle will be our first card so without further ado let's get into it ah there it is a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra a new romantic cycle begins well then not a whole lot to interpret there so either somebody new or a renewed sense of love and togetherness and passion and um just this uh like it could be falling in love with a new person falling in love with a, like in a deeper level reaching new energetic heights with a person wow very intense very interesting here new moon in libra for us and again just to reiterate this um this reading is oh that's interesting this card coming out i've seen a bit lately like just in our last reading truth and integrity not only coming out but the first card again coming out interesting truth and integrity integrity with summer so i feel like you and this person um, are going to reach a level of truth within yourselves and be able to be vulnerable with your truth with each other. Let's see what we got here. Divine masculine. So we're definitely bringing in some divine masculine energy. So regardless of your sex, don't get caught up in gender. This is sun and this is sun energy with divine masculine card number 11. Uh, so we have 32 and 11. So this one, two, three thing happening here in like reverse. Um, the 11 card, we have summer and sun. It feels like what is happening now is going to really set this up. Like I don't feel this person is going to like necessarily show up or all of this like new energy is going to hit necessarily right 
now um and oh that's what i was gonna say was that whenever you're watching this this is done this these this reading was done on the 5th of may the five five portal on 2021 so if you're in a portal this definitely um is talking about this energy here and now if you're or the next portal or when I say portal and Stargate, same thing. So Stargate, um, so if you're, so the next one would be uh, that next of the month. So we're at five, five, the next one be six, six, one after that, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. This is how it goes through the whole year between one, one and 12, 12 with January and December. If you're unfamiliar with Stargates, please take a look at that video and I explain this in detail. Okay, so. Truth and integrity, divine masculine. Next, healer. Again, seeing this card making its round. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought if we get divine feminine, this is really, really giving us some deep insight here. And guess what? Divine feminine. So we have truth and integrity, divine masculine, healer, divine feminine coming in right underneath divine masculine. Next card is initiation with sacred site. Uh, card number 16. Look at those two, um, those two spirits. Uh, well, wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and moving forward. Wow. With number 19 air. Oh, goodness gracious. This is most definitely intense energies. Truth and integrity, divine masculine healer, divine feminine initiation and moving forward. Definitely a new romantic cycle begins one that is really soul mated. I'm going to just easily say that you two are meant to bring out the truth, the passion, the authenticity in each other. You're meant to heal each other. You're meant to guide each other. This is going to be an, a new, like not just new chapter, but new volume in your life and in their life and moving forward is going to be fast paced really um like <laughs> like i'm seeing like a tornado just whoo energy coming in and and it's like this massive shift in vibrations and energy when these two come together like two hands coming together like two hands that are meant to hold holy moly this is whoo this is intense it will be a new initiation, a new stage. Divine masculine, divine feminine. We have the sun, the moon. Wowza, wowza. For your crystals, turquoise, uh, heliodor, uh, numite, black moonstone, um, phenocyte, and serfinite. Okay. Oh boy. So let's see what our archangels have to say about this that we have. Um, I'm also hearing not only do we have like a really good balance with our divine feminine and masculine coming in to really help that. Um, but this will, I mean, this, this will be a real, um, like a real shift in the in the energy within each person here definitely definitely that will be felt um like never before and i'm um, also being told here with this healer card to consider before this person shows up in your life to do as much clearing and healing on yourself as possible so you can be the lightest most high vibrational person to connect and that person can come to you sooner rather than later and next we have another 10 here the 10 was the divine feminine um, and we have another 10 here with the wheel and Archangel Michael. A time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. 
Oh my goodness, he's saying divine union, you nailed it, thank you. But I mean, really, <laughs> it's pretty obvious here. Um, definitely divine union coming into play. Very exciting here. Or um, your current relationship or something that just started that you're like, ah, oh, like, is this it? Is this a really... Um, I'm not saying, I'm not going to say like, this is the one you're, if you're looking, if you're a mar get, mar getting married type of person, this is the one you're going to get married to, or this is the one you're going to make babies with, or this is whatever. What I'm saying is this is a very, um, a very, uh, important union that is romantic that does have a awesome balancing of energy the divine masculine is going to really step up and be very protective here very nurturing as well it's gonna that divine masculine is gonna feel um very uh secure in this and the divine feminine is going to be feel so supported like both of, but within the same within each other like the divine feminine divine ma masculine aspects within each person is going to feel this way and the wheel here um with um archangel michael a time of positive change the wheel means forward movement action things changing things happening things that are cosmic and spiritual and so energetic we have two twice the words moving forward the card moving forward here with the crystal oracle and the wheel very distinctly a situation suddenly moves forward here a new romantic cycle begins so boom 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 so if it's this if you're watching this and you pick this uh this reading when we do this here in the five five portal know that this portal this stargate I, I use those interchangeably at times uh is really bringing in this energy light codes are coming in to activate you in all sorts of ways maintain that energy keep it high vibe don't let fears of the past don't let experiences of past traumas abuses letdowns ab uh, like anything like that um sit and solidify and if things start to come up th that's your clue as to where you need to cut cords and what programs need to be deleted so you're not putting energy into those lower vibrational um uh channels of energy within you and it tells you what needs to be released what needs to be healed so you can have this pure initiation into the future you got initiation and then moving forward boom like that this is fast fast action in for like um incoming energy that's happening wow holy cow well this is the energy of citrine <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. Look at how intense and fiery that is. I always feel a charge with citrine. So here we go. Especially that sun. That sun energy is connected to citrine. And we have that divine masculine with citrine. And we have our card. That was fast. Um, we have... <laughs> the perfect card card number 28 uh frequency uh 639 with reconnection of relationship to, to self and others so what a great card what a great card here with fa fa being the fa uh like do re mi fa so la ti fa so that would be the 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 chant that you would say with 639 um <laughs> speaking of relationships oh man cards <laughs> here we go card number 28 was 639 reconnection to relationships with self and others i create harmonious jeez i create harmonious connections with the people in my life if Three, sorry, if 639 hertz has shown up today, there is an issue with your relationships, be it interpersonal or with a family member, friend, or business relation. This frequency enables creation of harmonious connections to be reinstated to allow for better communication, understanding, tolerance, and of course, love. 
Frequency. By using certain sounds and frequency, we are able to enhance our senses and create a deeper connection to spirit. Every sound has a different vibration. So fuego frequency 639 hertz carries the sound and vibration of fa. 639 hertz is here to bring your reconnection and balancing of relationships whether interpersonal within partnerships or within family and friends including spiritual family and soul groups when we deal with these processes down to a cellular level this frequency can encourage the cells to communicate with its environment which in turn will bring about a change right from the very core of our existence practical applications at some point we all go through trials within relationships on all levels it is part of human nature for growth and expansion to occur we continually need to work on relationships with ourselves and with those around us each experience is, each experience gives us valuable lessons to take us to the next level of connections we of the connections we make create and leave behind these experiences become a tool that helps us carry on through our lifetime. Through meditation or when you are in bed or even sitting in a quiet place, focus on this sound. The first relationship that you must focus on is the relationship with self. Focus on your intention of what you want to release and create within your relationships. Once this interpersonal connection is fine-tuned, you can expand on working with relationships with a partner, parent, friend, child, and colleague. As balance starts to be created and restored, don't be surprised if you find people within your life being left behind and new people entering. As your frequencies change, your vibration may not necessarily match that of the people who have been in your life. Work with the color green when using this frequency. And card numerology is nine and crystal suggestion, rose quartz. Uh, lepidolite, celestite, pink tourmaline, laramar, emerald, Dipostate and oxyhedral fluorite. So once again, card 639, encouraging us to clear and heal so we can better connect and have better and harmonious relationships with um, our cur current people in our lives. And so we can facilitate the best type of foundation for new people that come in that are meant to be with us. OMG. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, next we're going to go to our last card, which is going to be uh, one of the oracle cards of the hidden world, the dragon fae or the fairies. Where are we going here? Man, I'm really stuck. I'm feeling I'm feeling multiple decks here. So I'm going to use my pendulum just to clear it up. Let's go over the hidden worlds and see if we get an affirmative here. If we do, we get a, a, a clockwise action. Wow, look at this thing. Holy moly. Um, but it's just neutral. Let's just, for shiggles, go over the dragon fave, even though I wasn't feeling that. Oh, see, it's starting to go no. It's, it's going so big that it see that's a no because from my perspective that's counterclockwise which means no want to see something fun let's go over the hidden worlds and see what it does again it just goes back to neutral interesting not going no just going into just going back and forth which is like a neutral but with the dragon fae it went straight to no so let's see what we get with the fairy um And here we go. It's starting to turn into that uh, clockwise action. Just takes time to like the inertia of it going from one station to another. So now it's turning in the clockwise, starting to get really, if I stayed here for a while, it would get, it would start to really get, because it's speeding up. You see this? <laughs> really fun okay so there we go like i was saying i was feeling those two decks and um i was 
hard for me to, to choose there. So sometimes I just like to keep make it easy for myself and, and use the use the the pendulum, especially with cards and when things are so intense, it's like oh <laughs> and this is an intense reading, I gotta say. I got really warm, really warm in this reading. Okay, what do we have here? Beauty and the beast. <laughs> Uh, seriously, Beauty and the Beast, Unconditional Love, card number 31. Look at that. Oh my God, so pretty. And you saw that just fl fall out. Um, where is that book? Here it is. Okay, card number 31. Oh my gosh. Oh, almost right too was the second grab there. Oh gosh, I need water. I got so warm. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, here we go. This beautiful fairy is with those she loves. They are friends, true and sincere. She protects them and they protect her. Yet those she loves seem so different to her, yes? But she does not see that they are not tall and beautiful in the same way she is. She sees their wisdom, their courage, their dedication, and their hard work. She is brimming with love for each of her friends and their appearance being different is something she truly has not noticed this is the way with unconditional love we all have within us this ability to tap into profound source of grace and blessings and unconditional love when we feel its grace within us is a blessing not only to others who receive it but to we who choose to experience it being filled with this love can help us to heal and can assist us in finding beauty in all places. It can allow us to enter into life. Know that love, when it is given as a kind of business deal, you give to me and I will give to you is not love at all, but it is a business transaction. That kind of exchange may seem to give us control, but it does not create love between all beings. Unconditional love does. This fairy princess loves all. The spark of soul fire within all beings is absolutely available to her sight. Her third eye is open and stimulated by the magical green stone, the same color as her earthling friends, and she is under no illusion. Beauty is beyond standard forms and features, and love cannot be given for complying and fitting in and making deals. Love simply is... And she has learned the art of allowing herself to be in love at all times. And thus, her presence is felt as a blessing. And the world and all its inhabitants bless her in return. Fairies love all beings. They just do. And you can too. Divinatory meanings. Consider that you can see with everyone you encounter, indeed, every being you encounter, a spirit being, someone who has that spark of soul life within them. Consider then that when your soul spark acknowledges theirs, you feel connected to divine love, which sees not species, race, creed, or distinguishing features. It enables you then to work and be with people who you may have once found difficult to be around. Unconditional love allows you to experience your own capacity for love, which is joyous and fills you with happiness. To dismiss, to be in retreat from others because of difference or cultural beliefs and stereotypes is to dim your own internal source of light and reduce opportunities for friendship and love. And reverse meanings, because I like the, you know, to have both of these so we get that contrast. Uh, consider whether you have taught yourself to reject others for their differences or whether you may have a belief that love is conditional, contractual, rather than allowing love to flow through you. Giving, giving love as a reward, withdrawing love to show disapproval, measuring it out as a response, love inspired by status, appearance, and offering rather than by being with those who must deeply who most deeply connect you to your own internal source of love. 
repulsed by difference, categorizing people as ugly and not seeing the divine spark within all, seeing love as a physical exclusive experience rather than a transpersonal inclusive state of grace, confusing unconditional love with being a victim or allowing others to mistreat you. You have choice and discernment. Unconditional love asks you, asks you to come into divine communion with all. Oh goodness. Let me show you this again. These are the these are these cute little goblins that that they're talking about that are her friends. If you didn't see them the first time around, let me show you. Those are the ones that she's talking about that they're talking about here. There we go. And they're saying that she sees no difference here between them. Like she, they're friends. She loves them. She doesn't need them to look the same. And she doesn't even notice that they don't, which is so beautiful. Um, I have this thing that I say, and it's, I love you already. And that means that because from my soul spark, I feel and know your soul without knowing you personally, your identity, your anything detailed about you. I love you already because... Um, once you get to a certain point in ascension, especially if you're a healer and you connect and you channel with high or the highest of, vibe, of dimensional um, and, and ascended masters and archangels the way I do, it's really hard to separate, to not feel love for everything. Like I feel love for my Spanish moss. I feel love for my cat. I feel love for my neighbor. Like I, I just love, 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 love. <clears throat> I'm not stupid and I'm not a doormat and I'm not somebody to take advantage of. People know who have tried to, to kind of bully me around that that's not going to work. Just because I feel unconditional love and I love everyone and everything doesn't mean that I accept any type of treatment. It means that I give love free, freely, that I'm not with, withholding until I see who and what you are and what you can give me. I'm just giving it, sending it out regardless of what is, it, it is attached to. And here in this, in this instance, we're talking about allowing yourself to... Um, step out of fear because that's really like the bottom line here with that a lot of people have a problem with with love um friendship or romantic love is that they're afraid that they can't be that the other person can't be trusted that they're um they're not faithful or loyal that they're self um, that they're selfish and things like this. Remember, the first card we got was truth and integrity. And that is also to be able to feel that truth and integrity um, and is to not be in fear because you want to be in truth and, and, and exchange that truth. Be someone of integrity. So this beauty and the beast card... Um, really is talking about unconditional love and how to work with yourself and your um, energy to get yourself to that place. And and this is just like, we just got to 639. This is about relationships and connection. Here it is about, about unconditional love and connection. Definitely a theme going on here, starting with a new romantic cycle begins. Beauty and the Beast is talking about opening up your heart without needing to have conditions on things with just letting it be open and seeing like what the you know the beauty of some kind of partnership bringing you in this in this new time and allowing yourself to uh step up and out of negative thinking when it comes to relationships with others so with that said i just want to wish you the best with all of this energy please reach out to me if you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one for ascension coaching deep or more superficial healing i offer both of those types of services along with personalized tarot and oracle i work worldwide with people um, and their animals and lastly, check out my ebooks and those self healing meditations. I would really get into the body love and meet your guardian angels so they can help you 
guide you on your path um, to this uh, either leveled up relationship coming, like this new sense of of deeper, more intimate connection with a person, or um, a new relationship coming in to play. At least that energy starting to form and solidify itself now. Maybe it won't come out for uh, or come into the physical for another month or two, but either way, it is definitely coming. Please work on yourself, your healing, preparing um, the history that you have with relationships that were painful cut cords check out that ebook on cord cutting that I have on my website and the companion guided astral meditation that will help you through cord cutting and resetting energies for yourself so you can bring back as much life force into your body and be as stable as healthy and and in balance with the divine feminine and divine masculine and just open for the future and leveling up in union with somebody because that looks like that's what's going to happen here so congratulations on that i hope you resonated or excited at least with this and you feel this on some level maybe i've here i'm hearing maybe this is one of a slew of messages that you've gotten recently that speaks to new love new partnerships unconditional love real soul mated type or soul family type of union coming um for you so if that's true for you then this is another kind of brick in the pathway for you to really um allow yourself to believe this believe that this is coming be open for it to come don't be in fear be ready be open be be into the magic that's going to that's being formed all around you to make this happen because these two people coming together are going to create something so special that um, it is destined, basically. All right there. Lovely soul. Thank you so much for being here. Infinite love and blessings. I love you already. Bye for now.